In the house at the end of the street, a mother and daughter moved to a new town and found themselves living next door to a house where a young girl murdered her parents. When the daughter befriends the surviving son, she learns the story is far from over. It's far from over. This movie was, uh, not very good. I mean, I mean, I kind of wish I didn't see it. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it was just like, eh. I mean, the problem is, the stuff, you know when the trailers where it shows Jennifer Lawrence and, um, she's in a white tank top. And then you see Carrie Ann chasing her, and she's... I mean, I was looking forward to seeing that. I figured that would be most of the movie, but no. Okay, the other stuff is, um... Is, uh, Jennifer Lawrence and Matt Theriot's character romancing. I figured that would only be a little bit of the movie, and most of it would be the scary stuff, you know? what we want to see. That's why we go to see the movie, but no. Um, most of it was the romance stuff, and only the last 15 minutes were what the trailers show. I mean, Jennifer Lawrence being chased. Which really sucked. I mean, I felt like most of the time I was watching a romantic movie, and I don't do romantic movies. I, I watch action movies, and horror movies. I mean, there are only three type of movies that I watch. Three. There are only four type of movies I watch. Comedy, horror, sci-fi, action. I mean, that's what I like. And I figured this would be like a horror movie. But instead, what I got was a romance movie with a, with a small crumb of horror. And that kind of make me mad because I was like most of the time I was watching it like this just like waiting for something to happen I mean there were a few things um that um that happened um before the last 15 minutes that actually made me that kind of scared me but there's a scene well, you know, that Theriot's character, Ryan, yeah, that's his name. Um, he opens the door, so he gives Carrie Ann food, and then he, like, jumps at him. That, that made me, like, jump out of my skin. I was like, ah! <laughs> you know? Um, but that's pretty much the only really shocking part. I mean, there are some, you know, scenes that happen involving stuff. Most of it's just... Miss Jennifer Lawrence, I love you, Matt. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. Matt, I don't know how to pronounce your last name. I love you too. That was most of the movie. I mean, the twist was extremely shocking. I have to admit, I didn't see it coming from a mile. And I actually did think, yeah, that could happen. You know, that could happen, but I didn't think it would, but it did. And I was like, oh, I mean, I was thinking. Yeah, that could happen, but the trailers may have looked like, um, no, they come, I mean, trailer one made me think, yeah, um, trailer two was like, maybe still trailer three, no, it's not gonna happen, but it did. I mean, basically, um, uh, I mean, the trailers really did trick you to thinking what you, what you're supposed to think. But the twist, um, really was surprising and shocking. It was definitely, I mean, the only problem is that I did think it could happen. I mean, the most effective twists are the ones that you think are impossible of happening. But this one was still pretty shocking because at first I thought it was, but I was like, no, it's not going to happen, but it did. Um, and it was pretty shocking, but how to end the street? I think it's more for teenage girls who like romance movies and horror movies. So, if you're a teenage girl that likes romance and horror, then you should definitely go see this. But if you're like a huge horror fan like me and you're expecting like a horror movie, don't go see it because 
It's really not a very much of a horror movie. Yeah, I need to go see The Possession. That was like a horror movie. 